Jesus Christ. Hey guys, it's Ginger on Wheels here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. So I recently saw a guy and I saw this play out on the internet. He uh, got off the train and he got jumped by a few people and they took his VSET 10 Plus scooter. And it was gone for a few days, but he used an Apple AirTag that he had hidden in the deck to track the scooter down. He had a really hard time doing it though because the AirTag only updates when an iPhone walks by. And there was also a video from Jimmy Chang and he explored this other device called an Invoxia. It's like a 4G uh, Bluetooth tracker that you have to charge and I don't think it's waterproof. But I wanted to explore what other options there were and I did. So I found this thing. This is a hardwired GPS tracker that I should be able to put inside my scooter. It's called the Optimus GV75. It's waterproof and it's powered by a range of voltages from eight to 32 volts. So what I'm gonna try and do is open up one of my scooters, probably the Varla Eagle one, and then plug this thing in, tap into like the positive and negative for the lights maybe, and then sign up for the monthly subscription for $12.99 a month, and then we can go see if it works. We can hide my scooter somewhere in the parking lot and use my phone to try to see if we can track the scooter down. So subscribe to the channel. This should be a really useful video for anybody that owns an electric scooter. Let's roll the intro and get started on this project. Okay. So let's go ahead and unbox this tracker that I have really quick. Once again, it's the GV75MG. Got a couple of cards here, probably telling us how to do the setup. And that's it, just the tracker. It's got a little fuse built into the positive line so I don't have to worry about it shorting out the scooter. Uh, looks like there's a whole bunch of other cables. I don't think you actually necessarily need to use these. I think we're just going for the positive and negative, black and the red. So I'm gonna open up one of my scooters. I'm gonna open up the Varla Eagle One. I'm gonna try and find some wires going to the headlights, positive and negative, and hopefully I can just tap into those with these positive and negatives and it will work out and this thing will get power. We can sign up and see where the scooter is. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so like I said, I'm using the Varla Eagle One for this project. So for this Varla, the deck screws that we need to actually take the deck off are underneath the grip tape, I think. So I'm gonna take the grip tape off first. Just use a box cutter to slice it off, kind of. I guess you don't even need a box cutter, you can just peel it right off. You could probably reuse this grip tape if you were so inclined. But the scooter did come with two other uh, grip tape designs, so I'm gonna use one of the other ones when I put this back together. It looks like these are size two or three hex screws, and there are one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven screws to take off there. All right, so I removed my eleven screws from around the top of the Varla here. And we can just pull the top deck off. It's a little stuck in the front there. So like I said, there's actually some silicone sealant. It's pretty cool. All right, hopefully there's enough room in here for this tracker. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's actually enough room inside the Varla. I mean, there is. I can actually smash this down right in between the two controllers and it fits pretty well, but there's not enough room for the wiring. And I don't feel like chopping this wiring off just yet. So I'm gonna try and explore my options and open up the side cover and see if there's any room inside the deck here. Okay, this is on the back right side. I just pulled off the light by unscrewing two screws on the bottom of the light and two screws on the top of the light, and then it just went and I pulled it out. And I discovered that the tracker that I have fits inside this little hole perfectly. So I can just slide this in here, hopefully tap into the wire for the lights, and we'll be all set. Well, let's see how this works out. Okay, so a little update. I took the rear uh, light off over here and I slid my tracker in through here, and I've got the positive and the negative coming out the front here, so this is just hollow all the way through. I just slid a little like coat hanger with the positive and negative taped to it, and I just slid that all the way through the hole, and I fished the positive and negative out. So now I'm just going to feed the positive and negative through this little hole into the controller compartment, and then try and find a positive and negative in here to connect them to, and hopefully I'll be good to go. Okay, I've got the lights back on and my tracker is back in here. I got this light back on and the positive and the negative for the tracker are fished out through that little hole. 
So my objective now is to just test wires in here with my multimeter and try and find a positive and negative. I'm guessing these, there are four clips here. This looks like a step down converter. There are four clips here and there are four lights on the scooter. So I think this is a good bet that these are like two tail lights and two headlights. So I'm gonna unclip these two, two prong connectors here and just test them with a multimeter when the scooter is on and the lights are on and see if these things are 12 volts. And if they are, I can just tap into this little connector here and we should be good to go. So as I suspected, I turned the scooter on here and then I turned the lights on and I can see that this light is on, this light is on, this light is on back here. And this light isn't on because I unclipped one of the connectors. So that it's confirmed these four clips are for the four lights. Okay, so I've got my multimeter here. I've got my girlfriend assistant here. She's holding the connector. The positive and negative are here. So I'm gonna take the prongs of my multimeter, the positive and negative prong, touch it to the positive and negative connection on the thing, and then see how many volts this uh, connection is. If it's anywhere between eight and 30 volts, then it should work to power my GPS tracker. Okay, we got something. Looks like nine, nine volts. So that should work. Okay, so from this little step down box, I have a red wire that would be going to the lights, now connected to the red wire for the tracker. And I have a black wire that would be going to the lights, now connected to a black wire for the tracker and it goes through the uh, frame here back to the tracker and if you look really closely the tracker is flashing green and red which means it's searching for a, a cell network so now what i need to do see this imei number here i need to go register this device online with the imei number pay 12.99 and then I should be able to track the scooter using this device as soon as I close up the deck here and I can slide this device back up in the side of the frame and then it should all just be good to go. The next immediate piece of business is to use these two butt connectors to actually connect this positive piece and then another butt connector to connect the negative piece right here because I don't want them just twisted up like that in the deck that's really unsecure and can create a short. So. We're going to use these official butt connectors. Basically, you stick a black wire in here and a black wire in here. You pinch them together, and then you use a heat gun, and you heat shrink this whole plastic piece around the two wires to it, so it creates a nice waterproof seal. So like I said, we're going to do that for the positive and the negative and seal the scooter deck back up, and we should have a working tracker. Okay, so what I've got going on here now, this is the wire coming from the front bulb here so I want my lights to work still. I've got my positive and my negative separated. And I've also got the positive and the negative from the tracker coming in. So these are both power, these are both wires that need power. So I'm going to fuse these two black wires together and then fuse the two red wires together and then put them in respective butt connectors. So I'm gonna put both of these black wires in one end of the butt connector and both of the red wires in one end of the butt connector. And I'll get back to you when I've done that. All right, I did hook the butt connectors back on. You can see we got the positive from the tracker, positive from the lights going into the butt connector. And then the uh, positive, this is coming out of the battery. It's powering both those devices. And then just the ground on the other butt connector. So just gotta shove this back all in here and put the deck back on and we should be tracking our scooter. So this is what the website to register the tracker looks like. You just put your information in there, you get a confirmation email, and then you can see where your scooter is on the map. You wanna make sure when you put the top on the deck that this waterproof gasket is nice and uh, lined up with the holes all around the deck so that when you put the screws in, you get a nice waterproof seal again. Okay, well that's it. The tracker is inside the scooter in the back here. We need to put this grip tape on Get our deck looking nice and pretty again, and then we'll go riding and see if the GPS tracker even works at all. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for this video. We do have a GPS tracker installed in the Varley Eagle One. I guess the next video is gonna be us riding around, seeing how well the thing actually tracks the scooter. So subscribe to the channel. We'll get that video up as soon as I can, and thanks for watching.